Oh, oh man, I almost, I almost didn't want to shoot stuff today, man. I'm still kind of like all iffy about feeling it. I didn't have any coffee for three days, and it's just like eating at me. That's what I think it is. Also, just getting how to. Apparently, I haven't finished my sandwich. I'll do that real quick. Okay, so now I'm back after partaking in my sandwich. So we're gonna watch uh, creepy as fuck things a girl has said to you. I'm I'm feeling better now that I had a sandwich. I hope you guys stay going good. I trained a tire today. Now uh, we gotta go get some go get a tire repair tomorrow. And we take my car because I have a check engine light on. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Feeling a little stressed. I hate having to spend money before big events and we have a wedding coming up which is the biggest event and i don't even want to go grocery shopping so any who's in um i'm gonna get a sample of what they're thinking of first on the video because i haven't shot videos yet and uh, it's been like a two days since i shot vids so i'm gonna give them some suggestions and then i'll try to think of something while the video's on okay let's hear the other side guys of reddit what's the creepiest thing a girl has ever said to you was talking to a girl on the phone who at the time was fricked up on painkillers and started relating to me a story about how when she was 7 she pushed a girl into a pool and watched her drown. Her grandma came home, found out about it, and told her to tell the police it was an accident. That should have been a warning sign right there. She drowned to death. Huh. I kept some of your hair. Oh, Minus that's... 20 year high school room. Oh, that's not... Copied from an that's email I received from a stalker seven years ago. When you and her have your baby, rest assured, I'll be the one that raises it. Wow. Whoa, that's genuinely horrifying. Yeah. yeah. When I was about 17 years old I worked at a cafeteria and some girls, 11 and 13, were chasing me for weeks. <laughs> they even waited in front of my door when I had to go to work to chase me all the way up there. One day I was working and the cafeteria was full with people when the 11 year old girl oh, said when can I no. give you a oh, BJ? No. Everyone instantly oh, looked at me. Oh god no. Uncomfortable isn't even the right word to describe my feelings at that moment. Mortified? That's the, that's the word. Fucking mortified. In seven years, then you put on your poker face and walk away. If, if you say that, you're a fucking freak. Don't fu- absolutely do not say that. What? What? I was dating a girl called Ellison. My grandma is also called Ellison. I had That's mentioned weird. that I found it a little weird that they had the same name. So once as we were having sex she asked does this make you think of your grandma? <laughs> it didn't. Until then. You got trolled. Making out with a girl That's I good. was seeing. Lightly slide my hand up her chest. And as my hand is going to caress her cheek. She grabs it around her neck and forces me to choke her, which, which is, fine. is fine. Okay. She then proceeded to call out her brother's oh, name. Oh, I'm so sad from a deep, deep, saddened place. I don't think you guys understand the mindset I'm in when I go to watch these things, and I never expect this. Was his name Allison? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This happened to a friend of mine I was living with. I won't go into it, but the situation we were in demanded we shared a bunk bed. We had a rule that we could bring girls home so long as we kept the noise down. One night, whilst sleeping, my friend brings this girl home okay. with him. I woke up to them coming in as they went up to his bunk to start messing okay. around. I hear the typical stuff at first. Lip smacks, heavy breathing, some moaning. Then it happened. I hear the girl whisper to my friend the words are you down with the funk? In retrospect, my friend says he said yes because the chick was hot and he didn't want to ruin the night. So he says yeah baby, I'm down with the funk for sure. Almost immediately- what a weird thing to say. The girl takes off her panties, stands up on the bunk, turns around, squats and shoots, right on his chest. Luckily for him it wasn't the messy sort, but as you can imagine, the guy lost his crap. No pun intended. He tossed her off the bunk and started screaming for girl to get the frick out of his house. Meanwhile, I'm on the bottom bunk laughing my ass off. So, not really the creepiest thing a woman's ever said, but now you know what the funk is. I... I don't know how real that is. That can't be real. I'm just gonna say it's fake so I feel better about myself, thank you, and now I'm gonna move on not thinking that that's a real thing people do. Can't be. No. 
I don't want that to be real. I, you I, do. Come on, guys. Why is the internet like this? Don't have to wear a condom. <laughs> I'll just oh, miss Gary. I wore a condom. Yeah, that's sad. What you have fuck? no right to your own life, and if you try to leave me, I'll kill you so nobody else can have Damn. you. Damn. Good times. Threaten to kill yourself if she doesn't hey. leave. You got her out crazy the crazy. I was over at hey. our dorm room, and after we got done with our business, I spotted a bottle of my cologne on her desk. I asked her about it, and she said she sprayed it around to make her room smell like I'm gonna me. pause it while it's still normal to say, aw, that's cute. Now on to the disappointment. Okay, next week, she gets into my car, makes a big snee i sound, and says, oh, um, smells like you in here. She started masturbating. Wow. No crap. En route to Kroger. Okay. Few he weeks says, okay, alright. Later, at her dorm room. I decide to get a little nosy. I find the following. One aforementioned bottle of cologne. Two two pairs of my dirty undies. Not left by me. Three pair of my dirty socks again. Not left wow. by me. And this freaked me out more than anything for some reason. Four envelope with yep. what I can only assume to yep. be. Drum you already know. My pubes in it. Not okay. I break up with her over ICQ. The good old days. She informs me that she left a bag oh, at my apartment. On. It's under my bed. In said bag is a bunch of completely random crap with Kmart tags still on it. It was obviously a plant. Meant to force us to have an awkward post breakup oh, makeup oh, okay. reunion. Nay. Says I. Got my army buddy to drive me over to her dorm in his Ford Festiva. Swag. I saw her on the curb. Waiting. Crying. I launched that bag out the window and we took off as fast as that festiva would go. Never did see if the bag hit her butt. Given its trajectory, it's higgly like that. For those who will want to know, the cologne I was wearing was Old Spice. <laughs> it just fucking launched that shit at that bitch. Smack! I'm out! Well, I've posted it before and I'll post Please it again. Do. I want your meat tampon. Had to explain to her how that was not a turn on. Quick, throw a hot dog at her and run. <laughs> ah! Her, just ah, so you. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Meat tampon. That's fucking funny. Girl faked her pregnancy and said her dad hit her to get attention from my friend. My dad hits me to get your attention. What? My dad faked a pregnancy and her dad hit her. That's uh, what? Put on a condom. You don't know where I've been. This is the only one I'll ask wow. at. She's either nasty or had a great sense of yeah. humor. Had a girl grab my face in the middle of sex tell me it was okay if I came in her. Then grabbed my face and told me I know how to kill babies. <sighs> I'm having a hard time with this one, guys. That Did you enjoy that dinner? I put my blood in it. Now part of me is inside Shut of you. The fuck. Yes, this Shut actually happened. Shut the fuck up. I thought she meant she put a lot of work into it, like blood, sweat, and tears and asked her, and she showed me the cut she made to bleed oh! herself into the dinner. Oh! Oh, I don't do blood stuff. I don't like- I Chavez does not- let me refer to myself in the third part. Chavez does not like blood stuff. He doesn't fucking like it. Oh, fuck, I'm queasy. I ate a sandwich, but y'all watched it. I snacked before this. God, it's fucking gross shit. This makes me so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset right now. Oh. I once went to a ski resort where people of different nationalities were there. A oh. young Chinese girl introduced herself to me the day I was leaving and asked for my number. So I gave it to her. She called me about a week later and asked me if I wanted to go over to her place for a day. I don't even care anymore. Does she fucking bleed on you? Or fucking squat shit on you on a bunk bed? Like, come on. I thought to myself, sure, why not? Uh, so I turn up with some booze and find about two dozen young Chinese girls and no guys. None of the girls spoke any English except the girl who invited me. They sat me down at the end of a table. Spoke in Chinese all night while looking in my direction and giggled all the way. This, this sounds fake as fuck. This stinks of fake. I had no idea what they were saying. At the end of the night, 
The hostess asked me if I would be so kind to post four individual photos with each one of them separately. I hesitated, but when along with Did they, did they think it, you somebody else? They giggled hysterically throughout, and still only spoke Chinese. No idea WTF that was all about, but I got seriously creeped out. Edit. No sex involved. Those girls were young. I'm a regular guy. Only thing I can think of is they thought maybe I looked like someone famous, though I don't think I do. Edit 2. Okay. Some people are making a big thing about the boost thing. <laughs> In Australia, it's traditional to bring some wine when invited to a dinner party. Also, here the legal drinking age is 18. The girl I met was no younger than 18 I thought, so it was all cool. I was in my mid-twenties then, so by young I meant they were too young for me. Though technically it would have been perfectly legal. Got you. Okay, you put it all together for me now. I had literally all of those questions. Now they've been answered. <laughs> I'm no predator. I just like girl. He's, he's just like us. You're getting the wrong. Please. Used to be around my age, but not younger by a huge I got margin. You, bro. We're with also, you. the hostess told me none of them ever drank alcohol, which made me think that they were slightly on the okay. innocent side. I got this. Foreign students in a local university who have all told their family and friends back home they have an American replace with we country you're in boyfriend decide to work together to trick the people back home by getting a random average guy to pose in pictures with them treat him to a nice dinner i'm so f what yeah got you got you okay and average okay. guy to pose I in guess. pictures i guess i guess i'll take that i don't know either you yeah. look like somebody famous or then it all did it just to fucking, you know, flex on people back home. Treat him to a nice dinner. Want some of this crusty picture? Weird. And I want to stick my fist in your ass. Both offers declined. Okay, I would like neither one of those. A girl I hadn't even dated carved my initials into I'm her sorry. ankle. She what? received no penis. She received she no penis. <laughs> Man, these stories make... All the girls, the goth girls and shit that I talk to look like nothing, bro. I, I, I have a lot of respect for the women that I talk to in my life. You know, uh, a couple, I've got a couple of those, you know, kind of awkward messages. Like, oh, I follow your YouTube channel, stuff like that. You know, like requests for meetups and stuff. But, you know, the, uh, you know, they're moderately coy. So it's nothing too serious. You know, there's nothing too weird going on. I, my stories are nothing compared to these, dude. They're, they're all just fucking plain Jane. Nobody's carving your boy's name into their fucking body, I hope. And if they are, they would get the same response that you guys get. Which is why I don't think it would happen. Because I don't want that. <laughs> please, please stop everything you're doing. Well, that was fun. We're going to move on uh, to another one of these. I think I'll just do another part. Just do that.